What's up, everyone? I'm going to just get right to it. This is not something that I typically like to bring up because I feel that it isn't helpful to the driver community. However, in the past 48 hours, there has been some drama concerning how I make my videos on my channel. The purpose of this video is to educate the viewers about what's been going on, not an invitation of war. Please let me repeat myself. This is not an invitation of war because that solves nothing and leads to more stress and negativity. I have no interest in entertaining that. Last night, a friend of mine named Dino, known on YouTube as saying it like it is, gave his whole take on the situation at hand. I had no idea he was making this video. I personally feel that he was very fair in what he said and would like to share that with all of you. He makes fantastic videos, and as a way of thanking him for his support, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to his channel, with the notifications turned on, of course, after you watch this video. Leave him a comment saying Paid to Drive sent me, so he knows you came from this video. If you have no idea what I'm referring to with this, it's probably for the better anyway. At the end of this video, I simply ask you to give your honest and humble opinion about the whole situation in the comments below. My only goal when I started this channel over two years ago was to help and inform, and I will continue to do so. That's enough for me. Let's get to the video. Oh, and one more thing. When you hear Dino saying the word moderator or moderators, what he actually means to be saying is YouTuber. So anytime he says moderator or moderators, it is YouTuber. I just wanted to clarify that. Thanks. Welcome everybody to saying it like it is. Today's topic. It seems like the battle with the moderators is starting again. If you guys remember, not too long ago, there was some uh, verbal, verbal abuse between certain moderators on YouTube, the gig economy moderators going at it and they finally settled the, the difference. They, they settled it. It was taken care of. But it seems like the battle with the, with the moderators is sparking up again. I saw a video today about how a certain other moderator is very negative and all he talks about is negative stuff about DoorDash and negativity doesn't help people, it doesn't help the workers, and it's not good. All right. Let's, we can settle this very, very, very easy and very simple. If DoorDash wasn't changing the pay model like they change underwear all the time, they keep shifting from that many dollars to this to this many dollars, they keep changing their pay model all the time. They're playing around, they're manipulating the rating system. They, they, they're constantly sending you emails. This has been going on for the past few months. So if DoorDash wasn't creating all that drama and negativity, because that's where it's coming from, it's not the moderator is making the negativity. DoorDash is making all this negativity for people to talk about. If there was no negativity from DoorDash, there'll be no topics on YouTube. There it is, clear and simple. There'll be no topics and no videos talking about negative stuff about DoorDash and Tony Shu. But they keep changing things like they change underwear all the time. And if that's true, that this other moderator that, that they're talking about is that too much drama with DoorDash. Why is it you don't see that many videos about Postmates? Can anybody explain that to me? How many negative videos you see about Postmates from all the moderators? There's not that many, right? How about Instacart? How many negative videos do you see out there about Instacart and about Caveat? 
Well, Caviar has been bought out, but before Caviar got bought out, how many negative videos did you see about that? It, because they're not making negative stuff in the company that much for people to make topics about it. Can, we see, can you see that there's a pattern? Can you guys see the connection? That these companies are creating so much drama and that's why moderators are making so many videos about DoorDash. Who's the number one drama company? It's DoorDash. Everybody knows that. Why isn't it Postmates? Why? Because Postmates, it goes like this. They have the perfect schedule. What's the perfect schedule? The, none whatsoever. You can go out there any time of the day or at night. You turn on a Postmates app. You hit start to work. And you start working and that's it. And you can end whenever you like, whenever you feel like. There's no penalties. There's no block restrictions. There's no or a certain time of the week you have to go online or you have to go on your app and get a schedule because other people are on it and you might not get available. There's no drama with that. With Postmates, you go out, you hit start, start working. And that's it. And the other thing that a lot of people are not going to agree with, but it's, it happens with me, is every time Postmates, when I'm working with Postmates, every time I get an offer, the food is ready. Why is that? On my Postmates application that I have personally, there's no ETA. There's no time of what time you need to go there to pick up the food, and there's no time of when to drop it off. That's how my Postmates app is. It just, they send me the offer. It tells me what restaurant to go to with no, with no uh, estimated time of arrival or estimated time of pickup, nothing. Just gives me the location only. And when I go there, all the, all the Postmates deliveries that I have done so far, that food has been ready when I go to the restaurant. So it seems to me that they send me offers when the food is ready to get picked up. You might say, oh, well, other people saying that sometimes they have to wait. I never experienced that yet with Postmates. And you might say, you got lucky with Postmates that every time you go there, the food is ready. Well, my middle name is Mur Murphy's Law. That's my middle name. So there's no way luck plays into this. The company is doing the right thing. The problem and the, the problem with Postmates and why you don't see that much drama and why they're only talking about DoorDash is because Postmates pays you with chiclets. That's the issue. And uh, here's a Wrigley Spearmint gum. Here's a candy cane for that delivery. That's the problem with Postmates. It's the pay. Other than that, it's a perfect app. Postmates, if the Postmates would have paid as good as Grubhub, Postmates would have been my number one gig company to work for and for life. I wouldn't never touch anybody else. And that's it. I wouldn't even care about the other companies. So there you have it. Plain and simple. DoorDash is creating all the drama, and that's why a lot of moderators are posting a lot of drama about Tony Hsu and DoorDash. Don't blame the moderators for it. And the part where, oh, negativity and it's not good for you. Some people are, are, more, are very sensitive, and maybe you're very sensitive to negativity. Just don't watch it. That's why you might be more sensitive to it. But something that it's negative does not mean that it's, it doesn't help other drivers because that, that's stuff that you need to know. You need to know the positive stuff and also you need to know the negative things either. I mean, the negative things too. You need to know both things. We can't just sweep the negativity under the rug and just tell people what they need to hear, all positive all the time, and then they get hit with a ton of bricks later on. That doesn't work. That's not real life. All right, so the matter is DoorDash is creating the negativity. 
and the drama, if it wasn't for them creating it, there will be no topics to talk about. If DoorDash was doing positive stuff, people will be talking about positive things about DoorDash. So there you have it. That's why you don't hear about Postmates. Negative stuff. Instacart. Caviar. Uber Eats, you hear a little bit. Here and there, there's some Uber Eats drama, but not as much as DoorDash. So they're not making shit up. The thing with the articles, they're out there about DoorDash. That moderator is not creating, he's not writing the articles. Other people are creating the articles. People who are in the insight. So there you have it. It's just, it's just black and white. It's, it's right there. You have to tell the truth, no matter if it's a negative or a positive. Okay? And let's not, and let's not start the battle again with the moderators again. I mean, come on now. Yeah, I understand you're out there. You want to help drivers. By telling them the negative stuff too, that also helping drivers so they don't get hit with a ton of bricks later on and finding out, whoo, this stuff I didn't know about. And how many other people and other independent contractors, there's thousands of videos that the title says five things I didn't know about DoorDash or 10 things you know to know about DoorDash. What I didn't know about DoorDash before I applied. And they talk about the negative stuff. It's not just that one moderator. It might seem like because lately DoorDash is coming out with too many negative stuff. And that's why you're seeing a lot of the moderators talking about it. Other people don't want to touch on the negative stuff. That's fine. But let's not create a battle again with the moderators. Create another feud again. It is what it is. If it's not there, there'll be nothing to talk about. Just like Postmates. What do you hear about Postmates negativity? You hear anything? Let's let's hear about negative stuff about Postmates. Just the pay. Just the pay is the problem. And there's so much you can talk about Postmates. It's just the pay. They're just paying you with chiclets. That's it. That's the only problem. Other than that, Postmates would have been the perfect app to work for. That's my opinion. And when it comes to my channel, I have one subscriber lately that also got uh, lost their, uh, what do they call it? They lost their little wrench, administrator wrench from that, from one of the other, other channels is I'm talking crap. I don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, my channel is not, you don't come to my channel to hear facts about inside DoorDash and inside Grubhub. I'm telling you on my channel, it's about personal experiences. So for me, it's a fact because it's, I'm experiencing it. I'm the one who's going through it. But for everybody else, it's an opinion, which is fine. And that's what my channel is about. It's about my experiences on the field. And my opinions about other people talking about these companies. And I take those with my own experiences on the field working. And I come out with a video or a topic and I talk about it. But I'm not coming out there so I got 100% proof. I never say that. It's just my opinion. It's my experience when I'm working out there. And what my opinion is about all these other moderators, and I don't agree with any of them, and I don't disagree with all of them. With any one moderator that's out there, I agree with some things, and I disagree with some things. Another moderator talks about DoorDash or GrowPub or whatever, I agree some of those things, and I disagree with some of those things. I don't go, I don't have a channel where I agree with everything that they say. So there it is. Some people can agree with it and some other people that are watching videos on YouTube about all these gig economy companies, they agree with some of the stuff. But when you look at the percentage of people that it's on a negative, it, the percentage is higher. I'm sorry to tell you, and I don't like this, I don't like, I don't want it to be on a negative side. I want it to be on a positive side. But it seems 
less people are making good money, okay, and less people are having problems with these gig, gig economy platforms. All the time when these moderators do live live stream video, and most of the time they do like a uh, they do like a poll. How many people agree? And you find out that the majority of the people disagree. They disagree that these companies are doing anything good. Does anybody agree that DoorDash, when they're coming out with this new pay thing and, it's, and uh, the manipulating the, the rating system, how many people agree and they do a vote? How many people agree and how many people disagree? And you'll notice that a lot of people and a lot of people, even on my channel, when I said one of my videos about the holidays, how many people made more money uh, from last year and this year? Which year did you make the most money? Which holiday season? Was it last year or this year? And it looks like from the majority of the people, the majority of the independent contractors, they saying that they made more money last year. Not only from the channel, I see people when, I, when I'm working and I go to the restaurants, I see other independent contractors there waiting for food and I talk with them. And I ask them that question. Did you guys make more money this year so far or was it better last year? And most of them said last year was better. So there you have it. So it's, it's so easy to figure this out. The number one reason why there's so many negative videos, obviously DoorDash is creating a lot of drama and negativity. And there it is. And it's not nice to sweep. It's not a good idea to sweep those things under the rug either. Because it's so negative, let's sweep it under the rug and let's not t tell the people the truth. That's not right either. But if you're making videos only about negativity and negativity, well, DoorDash needs to stop doing what they're doing. Creating drama and negativity this way, you don't, you're not going to hear anything, just like you don't hear anything from Postmates. You don't see that many videos about Postmates out there. Negative stuff. Or even positive stuff. You don't hear them at all. They're quiet. Uber Eats, you hear stuff here and there. Most of the stuff that you hear about is Grubhub and DoorDash. There's a reason for it. Come on. If there was, if there were just... Out there, the moderator, that particular moderator that you're accusing that is great, if he was all about only drama, he would have said drama about Postmates and all the gig economy. But why is he centered towards DoorDash? Because it's a fact. DoorDash is creating, it's the number one company that's out there that's creating most of the drama. That's a fact. Look at the percentage of videos on YouTube about which, how many thousands of videos about negative stuff about what company is the number one? And you'll see it's DoorDash. What comes behind DoorDash? You'll see Grubhub. What's at the end of the list? Postmates is all the way down to the end of the list. And there's a reason for it why it's there. There you have it. They should stop creating the... DoorDash should stop creating drama and chaos with these independent contractors. They keep changing the pay like they change underwear. They keep messing with the rating system. They tell you one thing, they give you something else. All right? When it looks like it's going to benefit them, it, it turns out it's benefiting It's benefiting the independent contractor. That's why they keep changing shit. That's it. They come out with formulas and they find out that it's not benefiting the company, so they keep changing it again. They create so much drama. What's the number one company out there that's getting lawsuit even by customers? First it was drivers that were suing. Now you got customers suing. DoorDash. Number one company. What comes behind that? Grubhub. How many problems you hear with people trying to sue Caviar? Customers are trying to sue Uber Eats. Customers are, are trying to sue Instacart. There's not that many. You don't hear that many. What you hear the most is DoorDash and Grubhub. That's it. And DoorDash has even more drama than what Grubhub has. And that's it.
It's plain and simple. Let's not start the war, the war with the moderators. Come on. The battle with the moderators, it was over. Let's not spark it up again, guys. Come on. It, it's bad as it is. As bad as it is, let's not. It is what it is. Leave it the way it is. Whatever. I know you're saying that, this moderator is saying that it's too much drama and I have to make a video about it. Well, it is what it is. If Dodas didn't create that much drama, there wouldn't be nothing to talk about. That's it. All right? And with that, I let the viewers decide. How about that? Let's let all the viewers that are watching, let the viewers decide if, is it the Dodas that's creating all the drama? Or is it the moderator that's creating the drama on purpose? Who is sparking the flame out there? Okay, let's see who's who. How how this plays out? What well, makes common sense and logic? All right. So let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys on my next video. See ya. All right, drivers. So there you there you go. Saying it like it is. Like I said, I feel like he was very fair. So now is your time to put your verdict in the chat, in the comment section, uh, and feel free to be honest. So with that being said, also, please show Dino some love on his channel. I would love it if you went to go subscribe to him. Make sure you go over there, turn the notifications on. His link will be in the description down below and in the comments section. And uh, definitely tell him Pay to Drive sent you. Thanks so much for watching, and this will be my take on the whole situation, and we will be moving on from this with regular content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time, everyone.